The NAACP is getting involved in the case of an Albuquerque High School athletic director accused of trying to frame a coach. The AD could get moved to another school. But there's questions tonight about whether he's getting preferential treatment. News 13's Alex Goldsmith reports. It started with pot paraphernalia found in a coach's office. It ended with that coach's boss getting the boot. Last month, we told you about the strange case involving Sandia Hoops head man Alvin Broussard and athletic director Tom Nobber. Nobber's accused of planting the drug paraphernalia in Broussard's office. It's not the first time Nobber has had issues with one of his coaches. Six years ago, basketball coach Adrian Ortega left Sandia. He told the Albuquerque Journal he was forced out after Nobber made up allegations about him. At a disciplinary hearing last week, APS removed Nobber from his job, but gave him priority to get rehired elsewhere at APS. Local NAACP head Dr. Harold Bailey says it's the wrong move. There were two incidents, similar incidents. I don't think that anyone should deserve special treatment. Most certainly not be on a high priority list for hire. Bailey wrote a letter to the district today asking for APS to reconsider, questioning whether race played a factor in the decision. My experience being a black man in America, I don't think the African American would have been given that type of treatment. APS will meet with the NAACP here tomorrow to hear Dr. Bailey's concerns. So hopefully we'll be able to discuss this matter and resolve it in a positive way. However, an APS spokesperson tells News 13 that without new evidence, the district's unlikely to change its mind. Alex Goldsmith, KRQE News 13. Broussard's attorney tells News 13 his client is still looking at legal action against Nauber, the district, or both.